Hello folks, good afternoon. It's it's a cold afternoon <laughs> here in Pennsylvania sometime in the month of January 2016. It's somewhere around the 25th I think or 26th. Anyway, it's a Thursday. Um, just making here don't know if you can see I've just been making some um, lidded lidded forms um, small lidded forms there and some and some uh, larger ones so I'm just getting some clay ready um, I'm restarting this clip because I forgot to put the memory card in the camera <laughs> So it was just running on the internal memory of the camera. Of course, it it uh, it terminated rather quickly. So I've now got the memory card in. So um, So, um, yeah, these are 16 ounces, these ones. 16 ounces, 15.48, 16.18, 16. That's it. So, what I do is I throw the bodies of these first, you see, and um, and then I'll measure and we'll I'll throw the lids. I just wanted you to, sh I just wanted to, I'll throw another one, and I'll come in for a bit of detail just so you can see how I do the gallery, because that's quite fun. It's quite easy, really. Once you know the technique, you see, this is the this is it. You see, there is yeah, there is craftsmanship in these things. Of course, there is. But a lot of it is just technique. It's just knowing, you know. It's it's like you've got, it's like you've got a mountain in front of you, and you've got to get up to the top. So which is the path? Which is the way that leads to the top? All right. And with so many things that you do that we make here in pottery, and with other skills, it's which is the path that leads to the top? The top being the finished article that you want to try to make. And it's a it's a route, isn't it? It's a technique. It's a set of steps, in other words, that leads that leads us there. So, what I want to do is show you, if I can, my way, my route. <laughs> That's it. You see, it's not just one route, is it? There can be m many diverse routes that lead to the mountain top. But I'm going to show you my my route for doing how I do these. Okay, so basically, it's a it's a cylindrical form, isn't it? And I'm going to have to get the pull the clay up and get a, a decent a decent cylindrical shape. All right, so. We're distributing the clay right now, pulling up, now when I get, when I get to the, the moment when I'm going to do the top, I'm going to, we'll zoom in a bit, hope my head's not in the way. Right, keep it in at the top. Don't let it get. Don't let it get it wide. Getting the clay out of the bottom. Very slightly bowed side. All right. Very slightly bowed here. Let's sponge him out while we're here. So, 
now I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in the focus. I want you to see this because let's see. Uh, I don't want to go out of focus. This is the problem. Why don't I? Wait a minute. Why don't I take it up close? That bucket. All right, there we are. I'm fairly close. Um, gosh, I don't know this camera whether I'm in focus or not some of the time. To be perfectly honest with you. I don't like it. I'm going to pull it back again. Sorry about this, folks. It's just my amateur setup, I'm afraid. I'm trying to be a, a cameraman and the showman at the same time. All right, well, there you can see the, the top of the pot, all right? And so, so how are we going to get from that to having a nice gallery for a, a cap lid? Okay, well what we're going to do is, we're just going to, you can just narrow it in, you see, like that. See what we've done? That's the first step up the mountain. Okay. The next step is to use my finger and I turn it upside down. I use my fingernail and I press in about halfway there. You see, like this. And then once I, when I apply the pressure, I pull the, I pull the, the flange here up like that and then like that. All right, so that's that's part of the way there. The next thing is I've got to now is address the the shoulder here, so I've got to square that off a bit. I don't want to have the flange here too close to the side, so I may I may just redo that again and reposition it there. You see. All right, so so there it is basically. I'm now going to take my throwing stick. And I can sometimes use the end of my throwing stick here if I want to just to give a flattened a flattened shoulder there, you see. Let's bring, let's just pull back the camera now, touch. As, uh, so I'm, I want to make sure that this is a bowed shape. Using the side of my throwing stick. Cleaning away the slurry. We'll get my my leather. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take him off. I'm going to make a bit of space here for my for myself.
stop the wheel I want to get off. All right. Did I cut him off? Don't think I did, did I? Cut him through. Stop the wheel I want to get off and put the pot down carefully. Okay, you, you see how I lift it? Clasping the pot, all right, with the whole of my hand, okay? But these kind of shapes, don't try to attempt this with fingertips because they will impress. Maximum surface area, dryish hands, clasp it, and then carefully put him down. Let's do one more. Da -da -da -da. And then I'm going to demonstrate a cap lid very quickly. Okay, so center, break in, down to a quarter of an inch from the base, open out, flat, compressing the bottom, cone in. This is all basic, isn't it? Lift, pull, upwards and inwards. All right, always go inwards because that will keep it narrow, keeps the cylinder closed in, you see, at the top. All right, so down to the bottom. Pulling up, keeping it in, down to the bottom, finger, in, finger into the corner, you know, get that clay out of the corner. Coming upwards, very slightly bowed, bowing it, all right. Right, let's, let's clean them out of water. Now let's close in the top, like I told you, okay? So you sort of round, round this shoulder here, round him off, all right? Now, finger, pull back against my finger. There it is. Create the shoulder. Now it's important to get the height of the flange here uh, sufficient, okay? Because you don't want it too too shallow, otherwise the lid is, is going to slip off. Throwing stick. Clean the side all the way up using the throwing stick, sharpening the form, cleaning away the slurry, okay? Because you don't want the slurry there, otherwise you're not going to be able to lift him off. Check in the mirror, check in your rear view mirror. All right. Leather, wire, cut through. Voila. Okay, so I've just got to make some room here on the end of my board because I'm getting like, I'm getting congested, aren't I? So let's just move these guys. I can move them now, more or less. Make a little space. All right, clasp the, the guy and put him down. Okay, so what I want to do now is, next thing is to, is to measure, measure the mouth, measure the mouth here.
because we're going to use that measurement. Yep. Okay, so the next thing is to decide how much clay we're going to need to make a cap lid. And uh, let's do this go for four ounces. Okay, we're going to go for four ounces. It may not be enough. All right, well. Let's let's go for four ounces. See if that'll be enough. Okay, about a quarter of an inch thick. Now I need to widen. Take my measurement. Okay. Now I'm going to use my throwing stick. Clean the outside of this shallow cap lid. All right, cut through. Now it's important to clean the outside of the lid because. A little guy like this is difficult to lift off, isn't he? So we're going to just, with, with dry fingertips, I'm just going to lift him, you see, like that. All right, and there he is. Let's see if we can do one more quickly. That's four ounces, wasn't it? So. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right. Again, measure. Now I measure these each one individually. But they're all pretty much the same actually. Sometimes throwing a small lump of clay is not always as easy as you think. So I, br I break in through the base probably no more than a quarter anyway, definitely. Widening, lifting the side. Yep, he's good. Using my throwing stick down the side to make it dry, dry to the touch, you see? Because I, I want it to catch on my fingers, don't I? On my fingertips because that's what's going to help me to, to, to lift him off all right oops cut him off don't forget to do that stop the wheel I want to get off <laughs> dry fingertips 
and lift him just at the side and then you'll be able to get your fingers underneath him you see and there you've got your cap lid hey thanks for joining us don't forget visit my website simonleachpottery.com and you'll see on the front page we have an auction for this nice temaku engraved tea bowl so go there and have a look at it check it out and if you like it put in a bid okay folks until next time simon leach saying keep practicing <laughs> see you soon